Welcome back to this part four of search engine optimization for micro small business. So we've been through uh, white, black, gray, and hat SEO, meta tags and data sets, landing pages, and now we're going to do robots.txt and crawlers, or otherwise known as robots, bots, or spiders. And now robots.txt is often um, considered to be a very important thing to do in search engine organization but for a small business you generally only need a robots text if you want to give search engines instructions uh, on pages not to consider in search results and there's good reasons for that um, again it's to do with relevancy if you're uh, for instance taking it's a client to a login page and um, it doesn't really have any relevant content it's there's no, no actual information to index it with. It's just a login page for your clients or customers, and there's not very much other information on there. Um, then you would want that to be excluded from your search engine results for the reason that nobody really um, looks directly. Well, they do look directly for a log, login page, but it doesn't really register as a relevant page and therefore can give you a lower ranking score, really, is... Um, the reason why you would want a robot's text to tell search engine crawlers, which are robots themselves, um, to uh, not look at particular web pages on your site and exclude them, if for no uh, reason other than this, uh, it speeds up the search engine results and that can that gives you also a higher page ranking because that's uh, speed and Relevancy and speed are the two main factors, really, of search engine optimization, because it re it it increases the rate or the speed at which results get returned to a search uh, to a user to a query. Um, so then I'll just move on to crawlers because crawlers is really the important part of what a search engine is or does and the sometimes they're called robots because that's what they are they're automated software robots or short bots for short or spiders which are generally also considered creepy crawlers uh, or the creepiest of the crawlers um, but because it's to do also crawling the uh, world wide web as well and casting nets and spider webs, that sort of thing. So, crawlers is the name given to all software which discovers pages on the web and who read the information in pages in order to help classify them and ultimately rank them. That's how search engines built their database of links and relevancy. Um, it's computational power intensive and requires speed. That's why, really, crawlers are the crux of the search engine um, and what you're trying to opt help or optimize the experience of the crawler. Um, anything which helps help crawlers give you a better page ranking score. Yeah, it's considered uh, optimization in search engines. So, if you hadn't, you haven't looked at the video. What is a search engine, and what does it do? It explains more about the crawling process of a search engine <clears throat> but essentially it really just jumps from page to page to page just like a net uh, builds this a little bit of finds these links indexes them finds the next links indexes them but at the same time tries to interpret the content on your pages and website so if you're trying to um you know learn how to search engine optimize and you come across the robots.txt file sure have one if you want it you know, uh, sometimes because you have to include it um, and test that it's there and, uh, you know, um, let Google know it's there, it can make a difference to the crawler. Uh, but only if you don't really have anything you want to exclude or any special instructions for Google, all you're doing is slowing down the crawler, even though it does look for a robot text. If it reads it and finds nothing and of use, then it's kind of slowing it down. So... 
crawlers. Um, th there's a lot of them. All the search engines have different ones, sometimes for different reasons. Um, they look at, you know, ex they extract the text, they extract metadata, they extract any kind of information they can that they're designed to extract. Um, and the kind of information they're designed to extract is more to do with um, the kind of information required to uh, re return relevant results by really building a database of information of relevant keywords, um, a variety of other things, tags, anything really that it, it can. One thing you can't do very well at the moment, and probably not for a while, is perfectly understand what uh, put any of the content any of the content on a page in context. Um, but it does take into consideration things like videos and images, and you know, return. It can help your Im if you do it correct. You know, if you do your search engine optimization correctly for crawlers, you will get better returns. Um, in the way your images are indexed, in the way your videos are indexed, and a variety, really images and, you know, media stuff of kind of information. Um, there's not much else I can say about crawlers. Um, you just need to know about them because if you learn about search engine optimization, at least come across the word bots. So, and possibly spiders but even that's quite a technical term if you want to call it that so yeah uh, now next I'm going to go and do relevant links and link building so see you in part five